everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to discuss Notions database tables versus Google Sheets. And the reason we wanted to talk about this is because many people use both tools for similar uses. But it's important to know the strengths and weaknesses of each one so that you can make an informed decision about which tool actually could work better for your needs. And also, Notion works on databases as opposed to Google Sheets is in a spreadsheet format. So that's also a key difference in the way that they both work. And we'd like to talk about that. So let's get started. Let's start by going over the strengths of Google Sheets. And while we talk about Google Sheets, we're going to compare it with Notion so that you can see also the weakness of Notion. And if Google Sheets has some kind of feature that is a strength, that usually means that Notion doesn't have that. So in this way, we can analyze the strengths and weaknesses of each one. So let's start by the strengths of Google Sheets. So the first thing is that in Google Sheets, you can basically add anything to a cell. So this could be text, this could be a number, and this could be a text and number or well, number. So it's very versatile. There's no rules in what you can put in the, in the cell and you kind of set the rules yourself. So in that sense, Google Sheets is nice. In Notion, if you go to this table view database, you'll see that there's already pre-made properties. So if this is a multi-select, that you choose a multi-select, then you have to only put multi -select. You can't just put a number here just because. So that is definitely a weakness of Notion compared to Google Sheets. So then the other thing is that there are way more functions in Google Sheets. So if you click this button, you can see how many things you can do in Google Sheets. So if you learn it really well, Google Sheets could potentially do a lot more and be more powerful than what you can do in Notion. So if you go to Notion, you'll see if we go to formula and edit that these are the options in Notion's formulas and they are kind of limited by the property. So it does it's still a bit better thanks to the 2.0 update, but compared to Google Sheets, it's nowhere near uh, as many functions. And then there's the other thing that the calculations are more flexible with Google Sheets. So let's say we just wanted to add this number and this number here, and that's possible. So we could just click here, sum, and then we could click here and here. And we have to sum here. So you can just sum whatever you want, wherever you want. And that's definitely not the case in Notion. So if we made, let's say we made two number property columns. And we added another number. Okay, so if we have some random numbers here and you wanted to calculate this sum, that's possible. And calculate this sum, that's also possible. But let's say you want to sum this and this. So that's something that you could do in Google Sheets very, very easily. But in Notion, it makes it very difficult to do that. So that is definitely a weakness of Notion and a strength of Google Sheets. So then the other thing is that you can easily create charts out of Google Sheets. So if you are here and let's say we have A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, and we just want a chart out of this data, you could just go to view and actually you can go to insert and then chart and you have a pie chart. A has 10%, B has 20%, C has 30%, D has 40%. Of course, you can set it up here as well, but immediately you can visualize your data this way. So in that sense, Google Sheets is a lot stronger. If we go to Notion, there's really no option to see it in any kind of chart uh, comparatively. You can change the, the database view, but it's a bit different from Google Sheets where you can really pinpoint the data you want to see in a chart and customize it, things like that. 
And then the other thing is that you have flexible validations in Google Sheets. So what that means is that if you only want to accept, let's say, dates in this cell, specific cells, you can do that by doing control click and then you can view more options, data validation, and then add a rule that it has to be a valid date. So now we go here and you enter some letter, you get this invalid input must be valid date. So you really can control your validations in Google Sheets. But in Notion, the validation comes from the property you choose. So if you choose number here, you can only have numbers here. And that's just set in stone. So you can just decide that this one is a number, but this one should be a date, for example. So the flexibility of Google Sheets in that sense is far superior of Notion. So one of the first strengths is that Notion is way more intuitive and user friendly. So even if you don't know anything, it's easier to start with Notion's table view than Google Sheets as a complete beginner because there's pre-built properties. Um, for example, if you wanted to add a new column, you could click here and then choose from these choices. Um, in Google Sheets, you can just type whatever you want and there's a lot more you have to learn. But here it's laid out in this way. And also instead of manually typing in formulas and things like that into the column, uh, into the cell, for example, with Google Sheets, you would put the, put the function here like this so that you can get the sum. But instead in Notion, what you can do is just simply click the calculate button and it gives you these choices on what you can get. So in that sense, there's less choices, so it makes it easier to start. And the other thing is that it's much easier to filter and sort data based on properties. So since there's predetermined properties that you choose yourself, you use those properties in order to do filters like this or sort like this. So it's way more laid out that you can just choose what you're looking for instead of just having an open canvas, which is more like what Google Sheets is. And then there is also the fact that with Notion, you can actually upload files as a property. So if you click the plus sign here, and you go to files and media. And then if you click here, you can actually just upload files. So this is quite useful as well with Notion. And then there's also that each database entry comes to the page where you can add anything. So let's say we click into here, then you can see that there is this whole space over here where you can put another database, you could put another table view and so on. So if you have a lot of text that you want to write, then definitely it's not Google Sheets you need, it's Notion. So if you look at Google Sheets, you'll see that if you put a lot of text here, you're just not gonna, you'll have to either make the column way bigger, but it's just not designed to be a journal. Google Sheets is designed to calculate numbers and things like that. So in that sense, Notion is strong if that's what you're looking for. And then there's also the fact that with Notion, you can actually change the table view into other views. So if you click the three dots here and go to layout, you can easily change the same information into board view, timeline view, gallery view, list view, and calendar view. So you can really see your data in many different forms, which is quite nice if you want to see it in many different ways. Then there's also the possibility to calculate table columns in a way that is usually sufficient. So like we mentioned earlier that it's more user friendly, you just have to click calculate and then choose a choice. So it's, and it's usually enough that you can do this. Like for example, you could put monetary values here and then calculate the total then that's totally possible as well so at this point you might be wondering then which one is better and which should i use well that just depends on your use and needs and how comfortable you are with both tools so 
With Google Sheets, if you have a huge amount of calculations you have to do, complex calculations, or if you need to add together totals of two different tables, then Google Sheets will probably work better for you. But if you have a lot of data that you want to easily categorize and just look at it in different ways and also have the functionality to, for example, add more into the page like this, then Notion could be better for you. So it just depends on what you're looking for. Definitely Notion is more user-friendly in the sense that you can do a lot without it getting too complicated. But if you really want to use Google Sheets to the max, you probably need to learn a bit about how the, the functions work and all the things you can actually do with it. So to conclude, we'd say that Google Sheets might be more powerful in some ways with its calculations, but Notion is more powerful in the fact that it is a database, so you can uh, organize your data in a database and change views and add different kinds of properties. So the other thing is that you can actually sync the two together. So if you want the best of both worlds, you could try something like this uh, Google Workspace Marketplace uh, app called Notion to Sheets. And this will actually sync your Google Sheets and Notion uh, in two directions. And what it does is basically change the properties in Notion to something that Google Sheets understands and vice versa. So we're not going to go into the specifics of this, but if you want to check it out, we will leave the link in the description below. Those are our thoughts about Google Sheets versus Notion, and we'd love to hear from you which one do you use or which tool is more comfortable for you and what are your thoughts on this. If you have any questions, comments, or anything you're confused by what we talked about in this video, let us know, and we hope to see you in the next video.